Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about whether you should get into appointment setting or high ticket sales in 2024. So by the end of this video, I want to clear up a lot of the confusion that you may be going through. I'm trying to decide between, okay, should I get into setting? Should I get into sales? What's the pros and cons of each? What to expect in terms of responsibilities? And hopefully by the end of this video, you can come to a clear cut decision as to what you want to go with, okay? Because I was literally on the phone earlier, like an hour, hour or two ago, um, speaking to a guy who's in my school group, in my school community, if you want to check that out, it's called The Art of Appointment Setting. Only 50 bucks per month, you're going to get a call with me, as well as some other stuff which I can go into later, link in the description. First one, with appointment setting. All appointment setting is, is just booking meetings for business owners. And then if that meeting gets closed and it becomes a new client, for example, then you get commission. Now in terms of high ticket closing, what that essentially is, it's basically like appointment setting, but instead of you setting the meeting, you actually conduct the meeting, you actually close the deal, and then you make an even bigger commission. So in a nutshell, that's what those two things entail. And in terms of the pros and cons of appointment setting, so a couple pros is, and here's the thing, with both appointment setting and sales, the pros are gonna be financial freedom, location freedom, time freedom. If we take all these three boxes, that's not a bad thing to get into, right? So time freedom, obviously you only get like, couple hours in a day, the more you put in the better, right? But let's say you're closing, let's say you're setting, that only requires about two to five, if that, two to five hours a day, sometimes six, sometimes seven, depends on your day, but two to, two to five, two to six hours is, I find the range when it comes to being sufficient and getting enough work done in terms of appointment setting and sales. So that's, that's actually pretty good. In terms of location freedom, all you need is a Wi-Fi connection, a laptop and a phone and a basic English speaking skills, unless it's like an international, like a different language you're gonna be closing or setting for, but Wi-Fi, laptop and phone, English, you're good to go. Other than that, you don't have to rock up in an office to do it, you can if you want to. You don't have to rock up in an office to do it, you can literally, like I'm doing it right now in a friend's house here in Philippines. You can do it in Philippines, Thailand, wherever you're going on vacation for, you can do it from your office, from your bedroom, wherever. Right? That's the beauty about appointment setting and sales. You can do it from almost wherever you want. And then obviously the location and obviously the financial freedom too. So in terms of appointment setting, if you're just getting into it, expect to be making around two to five, two to six K per month on average. Obviously there's unicorns on either end. Some people making worth, making less than the average. And then some people making way more. In terms of closing, you're looking at around three, no, 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 not three, more like four maybe five to ten k per month so let's say four to four to seven four to eight k on average just to be on the safe side and i know a, a lot of closers who've done very well for themselves and are making a ton more money than than eight k per month all right so depends on a lot of things depends on the offer depends on a lot of things okay but in terms of pros and cons with appointment setting compared to high ticket sales i'd say the pros with appointment setting it's even more time flexible it's even more location flexible because with closing, you have to hop on calls and you have to, they have to hear, how, yeah, you have to hop on calls in terms of setting. It's literally just typing, sending messages, replying to messages, doing follow-ups, doing outreach. That's pretty much it. You don't need to hop on Zoom calls. So that's one thing appointment setting has over closing is it's, it's much easier. It's more flexible. So, so the first con with appointment setting is obviously you don't make as much compared to sales. You're making an even smaller commission, you're making an even less commission. I'm saying three to 15%. And then when it comes to closing, you're probably making like five to 20%. 20% is very high end, but five to 20%, you're making more commission from every deal, closed deal that you have when it comes to closing. With setting, pretty common to see setters making less than closers. Doesn't mean it's bad, but that's just the con. That's the first con. Now, another pro with appointment setting compared to high ticket closing is it's lower barrier to entry. It's even more lower barrier to entry. Now, when it comes to sales, remote closing, it's pretty low barrier to entry. When it comes to appointment setting, that's even more of a low barrier to entry. That's why I'm such a big advocate for it because almost anyone can get into it and you can literally get started as soon as today, right? It's a low barrier to entry. Let's say even your English skills aren't up to par. Let's say you don't speak fluent English, you know basic English. Let's say you have an accent. When it comes to DM setting, it doesn't matter because again, you're just gonna be behind the screen texting, sending messages, replying to messages, etc. You're not hopping on Zoom calls, hearing your voice, all right? So even lower barrier to entry is even less excuse to get into this and make 
you know, make a decent income for yourself. When it comes to the cons of appointment setting, let's say, yes, it falls under the bracket of sales, but it's not quite the true sales experience as you would be getting if you were hopping on the calls, if you were actually high ticket closing. If you were actually on the calls, learning about the prospect's pains, their desires, going through the sales framework, handling objections, closing the deals, etc. That is the true sales experience. That's where you're gonna learn sales the quickest and the best way. In terms of setting, it's not quite the same, but in terms of closing, that's where the real sales experience is and that's gonna pay you dividends in the long run. Sales are super, super important arguably the most important skill in the world as you know skills pay the bills so when you're actually closing deals that's as real as it gets all right so the second con when it comes to appointment setting and sales is in appointment setting you're not getting quite the same sales experience you're not learning as quickly you're not learning from true real world experience closing high ticket deals speaking to different types of prospects etc so that's the second con now in terms of deciding what to go with when it comes to someone who's completely new to the game is completely fresh what I tell them all the time is just get into setting first because it's a lower barrier to entry. At least it gets their foot in the door. And then from setting, they get some experience, they land an offer, they get some experience, they stack commission, they learn the game, and then they work their way up to being a high ticket closer. Now, there's some cases where people land the closing role straight away. That's, that very much exists. But I think for most people, and especially with how the landscape has changed over these past one to two years, the standards are a bit higher for closers. Like people who are hiring closers, businesses, they only want the A players. I know back in the day, like one to two years ago, there was more leeway to have someone who's a complete beginner, get into high ticket closing and you know learn on the job and, and just get work their way up the ranks. But I feel like now, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like now it's a bit harder. They want people who have more experience, have more of a track record, just as this, how this landscape of the, how the landscape has changed over time. So right now, if you're starting from complete zero, you don't have much skills or you don't have much behind you, just go for a setting first, work your way up the ranks, get in the trenches there, and then move your way up to high ticket closing. But I know, for example, some people, if they have a connection or they're in a network where it helps them land a high ticket sales position first and you really wanna go for it straight away, go for it. Now, another thing is what kind of personality you are. So do you see yourself, and also like the type of day in the life that you'd want. So. Do you more see yourself as an introvert? Do you more see yourself? And again, there's exceptions. There's a ton of introverts that freaking kill it, that print, that print on high ticket sales. And then there's extroverts who are really good at DM setting, all right? But typically, if you like speaking on the phone, if you like speaking to people, if you're a very personal book guy or you wanna get better at that, then sales might be a better thing for you because it also helps you exercise that muscle if you're afraid of it, but you also wanna overcome it, that's the perfect way to overcome your, let's say you have anxiety, you're very reserved, you're shy, you can't really project your voice as well, that's gonna help you with that. It's gonna build grit. Same with setting too. But let's say more, I think the more important thing is the day in the life. So what do you see yourself being in a day of life more of? Is it gonna be just you waking up, you sending and replying to messages all day and every day, and just going back and forth with people, booking in meetings, etc and not having to hop on the call and close? Or do you also see yourself hopping on the calls and closing them? Closing deals, following up with prospects, etc. Basically just hopping on, on Zoom calls all day or phone calls. Whichever one it is, you decide. And I hope these other factors that I've just listed out throughout this video has also helped you decide which one you wanna get into. Just last year, December, stopped that, went full time on my own thing on my mentorship program. If you wanna apply for that, link in the description. So that's my journey. What your journey is gonna be is gonna depend and it's gonna be up to you. But I hope this video today has helped you decide on how it's gonna look like. Should you get into appointment setting? Should you get into high ticket sales in 2024? You decide, I hope that helps. Make sure you like, you comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.